Hi, and welcome to this video on debugging Excel add-ins in Python using VS Code. In this video, I'll be using the Excel add-in pixel uh, to run Python code inside of Excel, and then using VS Code to debug that, uh, that Python code. So often we use pixel to write uh, Excel worksheet functions, and I've got an example of that here. Uh, this is some example code. It's on the pixel examples uh, repo on, on GitHub, but it's just something that I wrote a few years ago for a, for a product demo. Uh, and it's got a couple of functions which call some Python code and, and return some results. Here, this one, uh, ML get zoo tree is, is getting a decision tree classifier. And then we've got some other functions which make some predictions using that classifier. And as I change things in the sheet, then the Python code runs and, and various things happen. Uh, what I want to show you in this video is kind of what happens when things go wrong and, and what to do about it. So I've got the code on the left. You see I've got this ML get zoo tree function. And uh, if I was refactoring this or if I'd you know made some mistakes in the code or you know, a cat had run across the keyboard or whatever and make a mistake like that, then now when I come back to my spreadsheet, uh, I'll see that kind of all of my functions have just stopped working. So you see now I'm getting all these errors, this, uh, you know, file not found error, blah, blah, blah. And if I didn't know what I'd just done, I might be thinking like, oh my God, what do I, what do, I do now? So the first thing I'd always tell you to do is look at the log file. Uh, the log file will always tell you kind of all the errors that have happened along with a full stack trace. So sometimes you don't even need to, to debug. So if I go into here, open the pixel log file, then we'll see right down the bottom the last things that have been called. Uh, and we can clearly see here uh, in this file, this read CSV thing has, has thrown this exception. Uh, no such file or directory. So we can clearly see that, you know, the error is caused by me typing the file name in, in wrongly here. So I can go ahead and fix that. And then everything starts working again as before. But for more complex problems or, you know, where it's not really obvious what's going on, uh, it can be really handy to, to attach the debugger. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Now attaching the uh, VS Code debugger to Excel should be quite simple. Uh, we just go to this run and debug window here uh, and click run and debug. It will then ask us uh, what we want to do. And in this case, what we want to do is attach using a process ID. So that will attach to this local process uh, Excel, which is hosting our Python runtime. So I'll click attach with process ID. And then that gives me uh, a list of, of processes that are currently running. And if I just start typing in Excel, you'll see it filters down to this, uh, this Excel executable here. And now when I click that, it'll take just a few seconds. You can see it's got like an update thing going on here. Uh, but after a short, a short period of time, it should attach like this. Now it's attached, you can see a few things have happened. Uh, the color of this bar down the bottom has changed. Uh, we've got a debug, debug console up, and there's these buttons here which control the debugging. So this VS Code session is now, now attached to this Excel session. Uh, and I can test this out by, I can set breakpoints like, like normal. Uh, and then when the Python code runs, it'll hit these breakpoints and then I can step through. So if in my Excel thing, if I trigger this code to run just by changing uh, one of these, the Python function gets called and then I'm dropped into it in the debugger here. And I can, uh, I can do things like look at the variables. So here I can see this, uh, this tree object that's being passed in. If I look in the locals thing here, we can see you know, what type it is and, and all the kind of usual stuff you'd expect from the, from the debugger. We can step over, step through our code line by line, uh, and this will help us like find out exactly what's going wrong, you know, seeing what, what variables change as we go through. Uh, and then once I've, uh, once I've figured out what's going on, I can then just continue, make any changes I need to the code, rerun it, uh, and then, you know, re-debug as necessary. And when we've finished debugging, uh, we can click this little symbol here just to, to disconnect the debugger. So if you followed along so far, but you haven't been able to attach the VS Code debugger to Excel, uh, I want to show you kind of what to do next. So if we go back to the run and debug thing, uh, I've made a change uh, and it shouldn't work this time, but I want to kind of go through, you know, what's what's changed and, and how to make it work. So we can see this time, rather than just bringing us into the debugger, we can see this is still spinning, it's still trying to connect, uh, and this bottom bar hasn't changed color yet. Uh, so let's just give it a second. 
and it should error out. Yeah, here we go. So it says timed out waiting for debug server to connect. Whenever you have any problem using uh, Pixel or anything to do with Python running in Excel through Pixel, what I always tell people to do is, as, as a first step, look at the log file. Uh, so let's have a look at that now. And if we go right to the bottom for the latest log entries, we'll see that indeed there are a whole load of errors here. Now what's happening here is, you know, the ultimate error, if we look at the bottom, is this import error. Uh, cannot import absolute path from uh, pydevd file utils. And it's coming from inside this uh, site package's ptvsd. Uh, and this is an error that some of you uh, might have. If you've used VS Code previously to debug uh, Python code running in Excel, you may have used this uh, ptvsd package. Now this package is provided by, uh, by the VS Code maintainers to do remote debugging. So what we're doing is local debugging where we're attaching to a local process, but VS Code also supports remote debugging, connecting to a process that's running on a, on a different computer. And that's how we used to debug uh, Python code running in Excel. Uh, it was, you know, it was local debugging, but doing it as if it was a remote process. So connecting to a debug server running on localhost, if that makes sense. Anyway, <laughs> the, the point is, if you have this package installed, then it conflicts with the this newer method that I've just shown you. So in order to get past this problem, all we need to do is uninstall this package, which we no longer need. So if I bring up a command prompt, I can just do pip uninstall ptv. SD. And then once that's uh, uninstalled, what I'll do is restart Excel. And then now that's all started up again, I'll try debugging again. And there we go, this time without that, uh, without that package installed, everything's working fine. Uh, and we can go ahead and set breakpoints like we had before, run the code and step through and inspect variables and, and all that kind of stuff. Well, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, writing Python code inside of Excel is really no different from writing Python code outside of Excel. Uh, the first thing that you need to do when you run into problems is look at the errors that you're seeing, look at the log file so you can see the, the stack trace and you know get an idea of where it's going wrong in the code. Uh, and if you need to do something more involved, then you can use a debugger like uh, VS Code to easily attach to, to Excel and step through your Python code in the way that you're probably already used to if you're, if you're using VS Code for other, other Python application development. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll post a link to a blog post about this same topic below, which goes in a little bit more detail. So if you want to go through a bit slower, then I'd really recommend having a look at that at that post. Uh, and as always, if you have any questions, then please feel free to reach out to us at uh, support. Thanks.